Yo, what's cracking, everyone? Eric Ship Triple One here, and we are back on Forza Horizon 4 with another episode of hidden secrets, Easter eggs, and glitches that you, the subscribers, have found in the game. This is a series where you send me interesting things you have found in the game, and the ones which are the most unique and haven't yet been shown on my channel will potentially get a chance of being featured in a future episode. To send me the things you have found, make sure to either write them down in the comment section below or direct messaging them to me through Instagram, Twitter or Xbox, either by describing them or recording it in video form. Please just make sure that it's in the best quality possible so that it can be used in a video. All of the links will be down in the description below and also to make sure to subscribe to my channel and hopefully I'll see some of you guys in the next video. So in today's video, we've got a very special one and we'll be looking at eight brand new secrets, Easter eggs and glitches that are currently in Forza Horizon 4. Number one, board. So I'm going to start off with something that I found very interesting on Reddit. Now, as most of us know, the Horizon promo has finally made its triumphant return to Horizon 4 in update 21. This was perhaps one of the most requested features that we thought Playground Games were just simply ignoring as it was a very popular feature in previous Horizon titles. So after the new update, when you load up the game, Kira will prompt you into starting your new photography journey by snapping photos of every single vehicle in the game to gain rewards. As for most of us, the small cutscene would most likely look something like this. Here's the thing. I need high-res photos of all the cars at Horizon for promotional purposes. If only I knew someone who was good with a camera, who was already tearing around the festival, who was probably planning on driving every single car they could get their hands on anyway. Here, start with your car. However, this user on Reddit, he had something shown just a little bit different. As you can see in the subtitles, for whatever reason, it included the word boring in it. Now, although Kira didn't say boring, some speculations were made as to why it was there. One reason in the comments was perhaps Playground Games wanted to be a little sarcastic or playful with their wording, however, thought it may not be the best idea to show any negative light to a quote-unquote new feature in the game. But what do you guys think? Number two, more cars to come. With a complete list of cars hidden in the files of Horizon 4 leaked, Back in December of 2019, there were a total of around 120 vehicles. Now with that said, since the leaked list, every car that Playground Games have brought into the game has been from that leaked list, which has now slowly been gaining more credibility as months go by. Of course, nothing is certain, but with no signs of Playground Games slowing down with the monthly updates, one thing we do know is that in Horizon 4, from what we can see in the Horizon promo tiers, the game will certainly reach at least a total of 700 vehicles. Now, which ones will they be from the leaked list? No one really knows. However, Playground Games did state that in future updates, they will most likely add more Horizon promo tiers as new cars arrive in every update. But just exactly how many cars from that leaked list is the real question. And how would that go with our current garage space? Number three, 686. Does anyone remember the Owens edition McLaren P1? Now, for those who don't, the official statement from Playground Games was said that the car was created as an exclusive gift to a very special visitor to Playground Games. So there is no way to get this car officially. However, many photos have circulated around showing what special modifications could be done to the Owens Edition P1, and it's a lot different to the standard variant. With that said, this exclusive P1 is still a car that you can race against offline, and with the Horizon promo currently capped at 685 cars, when you take a photo of the Owens P1, this will take your total of vehicles in the Horizon promo to 686. Is this supposed to happen or not? We aren't too sure, but could there be 14 more vehicles Playground Games have left in for us to take without even telling us? Number four, roof up, roof down. As most of you all know, one of the newest cars that we got in update 21 is the Ferrari Portofino. 
and one of the unique aspects of this car is that it has a proper convertible in-game which means in Forza Vista mode when you put the roof down or up it will show the entire animation. Unfortunately, in free roam, the convertible option is not available as it will by default have the roof down while driving. This also includes races under all weather conditions. However, when you finish a race, one thing you will notice is that the roof will immediately go back up. Not exactly the biggest bug as you can see with the McLaren 650S Spider, which has been in the game for a very long time, is also another car that has a proper convertible mechanic you can see that once you finish a race, the spider also has the roof up as well. Nonetheless, still something very interesting to point out and a huge shout out to Justin underscore W underscore 2639 from Instagram for sharing this with us. Thank you. Number five, the Portofino interior changes. Here's another quick bug as we can see with the Portofino in Forza Vista mode, the two front seats are grey to say the least. I apologize if I don't know the exact tone color and even in photo mode, the seats remain the same color. However, once you go into free roam, the colors of the two front seats magically turn black. But when you go into photo mode again, but this time through free roam, the seats turn back into its original color again. Certainly something interesting to point out and I believe is a small glitch and a huge shout out to Gatchen Style from Twitter for sharing this with us. Thank you. Number six, another empty wall. All right, so within the world of Forza Horizon 4, we have seen many glitches, which include weird potholes that will descend you into the depths of the unknown through to speed bumps that will launch you into the stratosphere. Then there are walls structured on the map that apparently don't even function as they should. And we have found another one. This one is located right here, just in between Arthur's Seat and Edinburgh along the coastline. All you need to do is find this fence that's between these two door gates, which just so happens to be wide enough to fit through and simply drive through it. From here, you can begin exploring the forbidden area, but don't drive too far in because you would just end up falling through the map. The only real spaces to explore is by turning left and see what's inside these little townhouses. A huge shout out to Lerdung Allen from Twitter for sharing this with us. Thank you. Number seven, let it roll. Ever wondered what happens when you forget to put your handbrake on while upgrading your vehicle? Yes, that's right, it will start rolling away. So you might be wondering, how do you do this little glitch? Well, it's very simple. All you need to do is upgrade your brakes to racing spec and then simply turn the pressure down all the way to zero. Now the glitch will only work once you enter the house and immediately go into the upgrade section. If you begin navigating through the menus, then head over to the upgrades, the glitch will most likely not work from my experience anyway. However, as you can see, one subscriber even managed to get the car rolling even while painting. Unfortunately, the car will not roll on forever and will eventually hit something solid. But what's at least noteworthy here in this clip is that you can actually see the camera changing its depth of field, either focusing on the car or the trees that are in front, which is certainly something I would not have imagined at all. And a huge shout out to My Forza Life from Instagram for sharing this with all of us. Thank you. And lastly, number eight, off center wheel. Okay, so another brand new car that is arriving for update 21 is the 2018 Mercedes E63S. As of right now, the car is still currently locked and will be available next week during the winter season. But you can, however, still test drive this car in the monthly rivals event. From what I can see from the exterior, everything is fine. However, in cockpit view, it seems as though the steering wheel is a little off center. Now for many, this may not be an issue, but for those who enjoy cockpit view, this may seem a little strange. In real life, I've never been in this car before, but I just can't imagine Mercedes not lining up their steering wheel with the dash. I could be wrong, and if I am, I apologize, but if not, a slight adjustment would be great. So there we have it guys, eight 
brand new hidden secrets, easter eggs and glitches that you didn't know about in Forza Horizon 4. If you guys did enjoy this video, please make sure to smash the thumbs up button. That would really help me out. And remember to send in those suggestions. I do read all of your messages, guys. And I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Anyways, if you guys would like to see more Forza Horizon 4 content right here on this channel, make sure to click the subscribe button with notifications turned on. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace.